Well, hello, and good day. My name's Don Tipping. I'm here at my farm in southwestern Oregon, which is the home of Siskiyou Seeds, a bioregional organic open pollinated seed company that I began here 14 years ago. I, today, I wanted to talk about lettuce, and it's really a staple, at least in our family and in our kitchen, to have salads, ideally year round. And part of the name of the game of that is doing successional planting. So these here are butter lettuces that uh, we have planted. It's April 22nd here. And butter lettuces really thrive in the cool season, uh, but do not fare too well once it gets hot and they tend to bolt and become bitter easily. So I'm also planting romaine varieties like these upright ones and oak leaves because they tend to hold up a little bit better in the heat, I've noticed. And then today I'm actually seeding some lettuce of the Batavian types and romaine and an iceberg type because I've found that they do the best with the heat. So. Here's how we start lettuce. You can direct seed lettuce, but for myself, I noticed that the lettuce grows fairly slowly where the weeds grow fast and it becomes difficult to see where the lettuce that you planted are amidst all the weeds. So I start them in these trays. Um, just hold one up here. You know, they have these cells and they grow nice starts. Um, there's another video I'll post a link to here about how we make potting soil and the various methods that we plant seeds. But I just wanted to sh share how easy it is. So I filled this tray here um, and now I'm going to make small indentations with my fingers. And I don't fret too much about depth. Some people say lettuce uh, will benefit from some light, but I've always covered it. I'm planting it about a quarter inch deep here. Let's make little indentations. Um, so this first variety I'm going to plant, this is called Red Iceberg, and just a little primer on lettuce. Some of them are brown seeded or black, and some are white seeded. So this particular variety is called Red Iceberg, and I just poured it out to show you. I make a little crease, and I'm just going to jiggle about two seeds, two or three seeds per cell in here of this variety. Uh, be, I, the reason I do more than one is I want to make sure, because my greenhouse space is limited and I like to feel successful in my efforts, that I'm going to have a plant in each one. So as these come up, I'll remove or do what's called thinning, the ones that uh, any extra beyond uh, one plant. So here, this, this is a variety called Strella Green. You can see the seed is white here. Just keep planting, jiggling it into the cells. And again, making that little crease across the front of the packet helps direct the seeds in there. I, I've seen all sorts of uh, specialized tools you can buy for that purpose, but uh, a crease is pretty low tech. And last I checked, it was free. And, um, We've always had resealable packets uh, with a gum label, and I find that really useful because oftentimes I'm not planting all of the seed. This last one is called Outrageous, and it's a brown seeded uh, red romaine variety uh, bred by my buddy Frank Morton. And um, I believe this was the first lettuce to be grown in space. They contacted uh, their business, Wild Garden Seed, uh, started by Frank and Karen Morton about some lettuces to grow in the International Space Station. And an interesting point on lettuce is it's one of the few sources of choline, C-H-O-L-I-N-E, which is an important um, nutrient for your brain. So eat your lettuce. So now that I've planted it, I'm just going to kind of take that loose soil and cover it and voila. In about a week, I'll see little starts, and then in uh, a few weeks' time, I'll have what looks like this. And so now I'll show you uh, transplanting lettuce in the field. All right, so the next part of lettuce, growing lettuce, is transplanting it. So I have these nice transplants, go in cell blocks. Probably been in here five, six weeks, gives you a sense of it. Um, and this bed, I've actually planted potatoes in. You can see the ones I've yet to plant here. 
here. And the potatoes will take a while to come up and I'll be able to pull off a crop of lettuce before I need to hill them, I hope. But this is what's called polycropping or double cropping and it's a great way to make better use of your space if you understand that you have quick growing things like radishes, lettuce, cilantro, and so on that you can sneak in before a longer season crop, such as potatoes, um, requires more of the space. So I just take these and in general, transplanting, you don't have to baby it as much as some people may think. My key is I just want to make sure that the plant is covered up to its uh, root ball. And I'm spacing them out about a foot apart. Uh, that allows them to produce a nice head. If you're really limited on space, you could do every six inches and then harvest the alternate ones. But you can see I'm, I'm moving pretty quick here. And that's fine. I mean, I've been doing this a long time and I know that works. You don't have to give them uh, the royal treatment, so to speak. The royal treatment comes from your work in soil preparation and there's a compost in here. I've been growing organically on this spot for over 20 years, so I know the soil has what it needs.